The Presidential Steering Committee resumed briefings with a renewed push towards the vaccination mandate across states as it boasts of over 17 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine in the pipeline. I want to assure everyone that the vaccination records and certificates will be verified. And this should serve as a warning to those criminally minded persons to desist because they will be prosecuted accordingly. Nigeria has procured 40 million doses of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, according to the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency boss, and the single-dose shot expires in 2023. We have deployed to at least uh, states like Borno, where we have the, uh, the, we have the, you know, the insurgency. Uh, we have sent some doses uh, to Rivers State, and we've sent some uh, doses uh, to uh, some places in Bielsa. But I want to emphasize that our priority right now is to finish those vaccines that have a shorter shelf life rather than the vaccine that has the 2023 expiry date. Illuminating other updates, the PSC announced a possible resumption of flight operations between Nigeria and the UAE. You will recall that in the past, these conditions were not agreed because we did not believe they were scientifically uh, appropriate. But in the best interest of harmony, we have agreed now to carry on with these conditions. It will be a little hardship for our passengers, but we assure you that we will do everything possible to protect the interest of our country and also ensure that Nigerians do not go through unnecessary hardship. So far, 213,000 cases with over 2,900 fatalities have been recorded in the country. The PSC is winding down its mandate in December with a summit to further reignite national response to COVID-19 as it tries to ramp up vaccination sites across the country to tackle the fundamental challenge of hesitancy. Gloria Umezuke. Channels Television News.